Hey guys, it's Michael Brody, the Virtual Boss, and today I'm going to talk about how you can build a virtual team and hire staff in the Philippines to really blow your business and take it to the next level. Just give me two seconds. Okay, let me just get my script. <laughs> Screw that. I'm just, me I'm just messing with you there. Um, we don't need scripts. I'm going to talk to you, you know, straight from the heart, straight from the head, and I'm going to I'm going to share with you the knowledge which I personally got from, you know, from outsourcing the Philippines and from hiring my remote team and my virtual staff who are all home based in the Philippines. So you know the goal of the video is to show you how you, you know you can how you can hire remote staff and, and Filipino virtual assistants. But what's my objective? I have two objectives for this video. Primary objectives, I mean super important objectives. Number one, to make sure you don't hate comment me in the comments below. And number two, is to make sure that, well, you don't cut the video off right now and think this guy, oh geez, <laughs> next video, thanks. <laughs> Just messing with you again. Okay, so let's get to the good stuff. Why would you want to hire virtual staff in the first place? That's the number one question you've got to ask yourself. What is your goal for you and for the business? Why do you want to do it? What's the primary motivation for doing it? Once you've answered that question, the second question you've got to ask yourself is, what specific skills do you need? What abilities do you need? For example, you need a general virtual assistant who can do a little bit of everything, you know, a few e you know, emails, they can make some calls, they can you know, handle a bit of customer service, or do you need somebody who's a prodigy or an apprentice? Somebody who you can, you know, doesn't necessarily have the skills, you know, on things such as, as web development or WordPress or digital marketing, but you want to put them on a $400 a month salary or whatever it is, and you want to train them so they're able to do it over time. Maybe a couple of months down the line, they can, they can build WordPress sites, they can optimize content, or, do you want somebody who has a specific skill? Let's say you need a graphic designer, or you need a developer, a Python developer, a back-end developer with a specific coding language, or maybe you need somebody who's an ace at Facebook who can really, you know, just ignite the content and, and, and get you, you know, fa fans and, and get, get likes and shares and whatever else Facebook does. Um, or maybe you need somebody to write blogs, or maybe you need somebody to do the accounts. Whatever it is, these are just suggestions here. You've got to ask yourself, what is it that you need? Because if if you just expect somebody, you know, if you just expect the guy or the girl to, to be able to do the whole shebang, <laughs> then you're mistaken. Next question is, how much can you afford to invest in salaries? Can you afford 300 a month, 400 a month? Have you got a couple of grand budget? Could you have four staff, four remote staff, for the 2000 budget, could you have a digital marketer, SEO guy, a content writer, and a general VA? Yeah, it's very, very possible. I, you know, I've employed people three, four hundred bucks a month. Um, but ask yourself, what is your salary budget? Let's say you, yes, let's just for an argument's sake, let's say you're an American business. I don't know, you're a startup, you're an entrepreneur, established business. Don't care. <laughs> but let's say just for just for example you're a startup you've got 1500 a month budget which is what you can spend on, on let, let's say marketing and, and staff so obviously you can't get the staff in the US we know that so let's say you need somebody who can run the digital marketing SEO let's say content writing you could have you know you could have three different staff four different staff even maybe you know five but let's say four and it's costing you the same so for the 1500 you've got three or four specialists now you can really blow your business up doing that. I've, I've done it. I, I, I'm telling you, you know, I'm telling you this honestly that you can do it. It's very, very easy to do because it's like I remember reading Sun Tzu the book, and it's about the four to one, five to one advantage. Of course, if your competitors, you know, got somebody on a, a two, three thousand salary, and you've got five people producing specialists on each area, then you're going to get better results. Which brings me to the next question you've got to ask yourself, which, which we all have to ask ourselves when we're looking to grow a virtual team. What is the cost to you in the business of not having specialist knowledge if you don't have the specialist people in the team? Let's say you don't have a back-end developer, or you don't have a digital marketer, or you don't have that, that guy who can just you know, ignite the content. Let's say you don't have it. What's the cost of not having it? And people often say to me, they say, well, Mike, you know, I'm just going to do it all myself. 
good luck with that. I've tried and, you know, I've <laughs> trust me, I've tried and tried and tried. I've tried doing the 18 hours, the boom, you know, all this 80s yuppie talk, all that kind of crap. But here's the thing, you're going to either burn out or you're not going to be able to do it and things will get left. You'll say you're going to do it and you may well try and try and try, but things won't get done and the business will suffer. So what is the true cost of not having the specialist people? And lastly, how do you do it? So we've, we've talked about the questions you've got to ask yourself to, to justify why you want to hire virtual staff in the Philippines and why you want to grow a virtual team and grow your business. I've told you reasons why I've done it and I've told you reasons why you know, a lot of other people do it. You've ultimately got to ask yourself those questions before you do anything. That's, you know, and, and really get a clear idea of what it is you're looking to achieve. Okay, so how do you, once you've done all that, how do you go about hiring virtual staff? How do you go about building this virtual team? You're saying to yourself, well, Michael, you know, you've, you've told me all these que but questions and asked me to question myself, but how the, you know, how the heck do I do it? Okay, so here's the options. You can hire a BPO company. A BPO company is a, a company in the Philippines who has staff in office and they'll get you the staff, you'll, you'll hire them through them and they'll charge you maybe two or three hundred dollars a month, maybe more, as a, a management fee per staff. So you've got three staff, they'll charge you the best part of, it could be anything between six hundred and a thousand a month, okay? Option number two, you can go to a company that offers a recruitment service. Now they'll find you the staff, they'll, they'll often tell you, they'll screen it down to the best three candidates. I mean, I've, I've heard this a lot, I've, you know, I've used these companies myself before and they will charge you it could be 300 400 500 it could be over a thousand a month a uh, thousand a month there's a one-off fee so they'll, they'll charge you five hundred dollar or a thousand dollar recruitment fee okay now the third option is you can go to, to to my site or you can go to the site which i created which is www.virtualstaff.ph now what we've done on that site is we've created a platform where you as an entrepreneur or business owner can Direct, directly access Filipino virtual workers. So they'll post their resumes on, uh, you can view the resumes, you can then contact them. Alternatively, you can post a job on with specifics of what it is you're looking for and the talent can then apply direct to you. Now, we don't charge any recruitment fees and we don't charge any management fees. What we do is we create a plat we've created a platform that allows you and the worker to then connect just like you would in the UK or the US or Australia or anywhere else, you, you know, wherever you happen to be. It's the same as your domestic uh, online job market or domestic job market. We've just done it to a level where you can now do it by hiring virtual staff in the Philippines. So, go to, there are your three options. I'm not going to tell you to go to our site. Do check it out. See which option is best for you. And if you need to ask me any questions, just comment below or go to www.michaelbrody.net and, and check out all the free resources I have um, on outsourcing and hiring Filipino virtual assistants. Thanks for watching the video. Your comments below would be much appreciated. Anything else I can do for you or anything you want me to help you with, again, just leave your comment below and I'll, I'll be sure to get back to you.